Oh no, wet and slimy. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the Scoop on Poop with the Frizzle Good Poop Advisory Panel. Today, we want to talk about how parents can easily identify seven different types of poop. Dr. Wong, there is three types of poop that I know about. Good poop, bad poop and no poop. Is there really seven types we need to know about? The Bristol stool chart is a way for us to differentiate the different types of poop. Type 1 and 2 poop basically range from the harder, more lumpy stools that are difficult to pass. And 3 and 4 are good poop versus um, 5, 6, 7, which tends to be more watery in consistency and looser poop. So it's important for every parent to know the consistency of your child's poop because that's a reflection of good gut health. So being able to differentiate the various types of poop is what every parent would benefit from. Now we're going to put the panellists to the test to see if they really know their poop. Now Suhana, you're first up. Thank you, Mel. I'll give it a go. I think I've seen enough poop, you know, with my three children to last a lifetime. Okay, they're um, like little stones, hard, um, on their own. They're not clumped together. So I would, my guess is they're type 1. Wow, Suhana, you're a poop star. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. I know. You're welcome. Now, Sharon, you're up next. Yes. You're also a mother of three. Do you really know your poop? I know my poop, Mel. I do. Let's see about that. Oh no, trust my luck. What do I have? Wet and slimy and no bits. I know what it is, Mel. Diarrhea, type 7. You got it. So according to the Bristol stool chart, the stools you felt, Suhana, was type 1 stools, which is hard little pallet-like stools that are difficult to pass. Your child has to strain and that's constipation. Now, the stools you felt, Sharon, was type 7 stools, which is diarrhoea. So it's watery stools with no solid particles. So in order to help your child have good poop, you want to increase the amount of fibre in your child's diet, and that would help with the consistency of your child's stools. Well, thank you so much, Dr Wong. That was so helpful. If only I knew this when my kids were younger. It would have saved a lot of heartache and tummy aches. So to all parents out there, good habits start from young. It's important to know about your child's poop in order to know about their gut health. And you want to talk to them from young about their poop. And it's always a good place to start by looking at their poop with them. Speaking of good poop, we've talked a lot about bad poop. But I think it's also important to talk about what good poop looks like. So show us Mel, what have you got there? Well, I've got something already pre-prepared. And if you look over here, Ta-da! So what Mel has got there is basically type 4 stools on the Bristol stool chart. So that's generally sausage-like, it's smooth and it's soft and it's easy to pass. And that's an indicator of good gut health. Now, um, parents out there, if your child's poop has got little cracks on them, are generally easy to pass. Or if they're a little bit um, softer but can be passed in small lumps, that's probably okay. Here at Frizo, we believe that a healthy digestive system can help children absorb the nutrients that they need in order to grow up happy and healthy. And good poop matters because it's such a great and visible indicator of a child's gut health. On behalf of the Frizo Good Poop Advisory Panel, we hope you learned a little bit more about the seven types of poop and continue to drive these important poop conversations with your little ones.